Okay, if you're uh, one of the technicians that likes to take things apart, see how they work, fix them, break them even further, whatever your goal may be, these little tools will help you out a lot. I made these out of just your standard automotive engine oil dipstick. <clears throat> I cut them down to size, put them in my bench vise, and using a hammer, uh, which helps me shape them and bend them to 90 degrees, I have several of them. Different, slightly different sizes. I taper the edges down, put a bevel on there, so it's kind of like a chisel tip, both directions, where the angle meets the flat, and I smooth it out a little bit using the wire wheel. Uh, you know, just take the the sharp edges and stuff off of there, because if you've been into this neighborhood before, where we have a instrument cluster here, for example, this one is from a Mercedes R129, a 1994. It would be an SL500. We have the plastic clips which hold some of the instrument cluster together. Now we've all played the game that we would release a tab, work our way around, and by the time you know we're getting one side of the housing uh, worked out and undone from the system, it will clip itself back in place as you start working around to the other side. So that's where the tools come in handy. Let's, see here. Let's go ahead and drop a few in place. So I will slip underneath these tabs with a uh, strong screwdriver, small flat blade screwdriver, just so I can get a lift on there. This one here is a little bit broken, but that's all right. We're still going to save him. There we go. And you can use these tools in this fashion here to help keep those plastic locking tabs open. So when you work your way around and you get to your final locking tab, you don't have to fight the first one from locking back in place. And these things are nice because the uh, plastic housing will eventually just glide right off of these tools uh, whenever you're ready to separate the two halves. Gotta be gentle. Plastic's from 1994, so it's not a not as strong as it once was. And this one's got two screws. This cluster here, I believe the board separates from the gauges and the gauges stay with the cluster housing. And that can be done. These are pressure tabs going around the pins, but this can be gently worked off. And there we are. So it looks like this is ready to be separated. Let's see how well it works.
forget to pull out the warning light discussions. We will need to remove these. Now this should come apart. Yeah, there we are. So the tools allowed the plastic clips to just glide over their locking partners and the separation of plastic boxes and everything else that you will encounter will be a lot easier. If you have an old engine oil dipstick. And there we are. I hope that helps you out.